maybe next week. Mm. That is good. This is really good. We need three chili guajillo, guajillo, something. One chili ancho. One chili, chili pasilla. Take one chili. Take all your peppers or chilies. Cut, cut it off. Cut the tops off and take out the seeds. And then you want to boil it in water until it becomes soft. So you just want to bring all the chilies to a boil, and once it start boiling, put a lid on and turn it off and let it sit for 20 minutes. So this is a large onion, so I'm just gonna take half of it because I need it for my for my puree. So put it in the blender. Now I'll just go in here with the pepper. I'm gonna need one chipotle pepper. I need like five or six cloves of garlic, but I don't I'm not buying no garlic cloves, so I just have this. Use this and just put it in the blender as well. I'd probably put maybe a fourth a fourth a cup. Cause I like a lot of garlic. Need about a teaspoon of thyme. I use dry thyme and dry oregano. A teaspoon of each. Got a teaspoon of salt.
pinch of cinnamon, just a pinch. I don't want to go too crazy with the cinnamon. That's plenty right there. You can add allspice to it as well, but I'm not doing that. I don't like allspice. So when the peppers get done soaking, you just put the peppers in here with one cup of water, let it blend, strain it, and then add it to your meat. Now what you're going to do is take your meat and season it generously with salt and pepper and then pan, pan sear it until it comes brown. First I'm going to rinse it off though. Both sides. your peppers and put them in here and blend it. They should be soft. Use one cup of fresh water, not the water you're soaking in, unless you want to. Water for the um, you need four cups of water for the slow cooker. 
So what I'm gonna do is put two cups of water in here to get the rest of this out. And I'm gonna put two cups of water in this pan to get all the bits out. Plus you need two tablespoons of beef bouillon. I just put those two little, put those two cups of water in this, the pan I browned the meat in, and I'm gonna take one tablespoon for now. I might use two later, just see how, uh, if I need more. So I'm gonna use one tablespoon for now. You can use chicken stock instead if you want. This is optional, but I use the rest of my onion. Just chopped it up. So now it's been six hours. I ended up adding one more tablespoon of chicken. I'm mean not chicken. One more tablespoon of beef bouillon. As you can see, is tender. So I'm gonna take it out the pot and just shred it up and chop it up. Once you chop it up, you can um, either add it back to the broth and let it soak in the juice for a while, or you can just add the juice onto your tacos or both. Just taking out the bay leaves. See how tender the meat is? And I'm just gonna chop it up. So now that the meat is chopped up, what you wanna do is take, you wanna heat up your griddle or a pan, whatever you wanna use. You're gonna have some of the oil from the burial, burial and your, your white corn tortillas. Yeah, excuse my old pan. But while I'm waiting for the griddle to heat up or the electric skillet, I just chopped up some parsley and some limes and some red onion. Now, traditionally, traditionally you would use cilantro, but I don't like cilantro. Take one. Dip half and you fry it.
Let it cook on one side for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then flip it. Once you flip it, you put on your cheese and your beef. By the way, I used ground, I used um, beef chop. Let it cook for 30 more seconds, then you put in your cheese. And I have mozzarella cheese. I'm already recording. Mm -hmm. You want um, sauce in it? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, welcome today. I have some homemade birria, birria, queso tacos. So this is the, ooh, what is this called? Consadea, consadea, cons, something. Yeah, y'all know. Sour cream, lime. I don't, I don't like cilantro, so I use parsley for the garnish. And here I have, these are corn tortillas beef um uh, beef beef chuck and some mozzarella and have an orange soda yeah i'm really excited because i've been wanting to try this for like about four or five years now and it's my first time ever having it or making it so i'm really excited about this one because i the first time i saw it was on um uh, i believe facebook it was an it was a la truck or something like that yeah, so anyway, let's get started. These look so good. And here I have this, I have some more, oh, not cilantro, I have more parsley and I have onions in there, red onions. Ooh, look at that. I should have had a you know what? Let me get me a towel to sit on my lap real quick. Okay. I'm gonna try without the sour cream first. Mmm. Wow. I also have hot sauce on the side. Ooh, they got in my eye. Why ain't nothing coming out? Okay. Mm. 
one's really good. Mmm. Yeah. These are good. Ooh, and hiccup. So how have y'all doing? How have y'all been doing? Hope y'all doing good. I want to say thank you guys for a thousand subs. I said it on my last video towards the end, but I want to say it again. I really, I really, really appreciate it. And I will be doing a giveaway soon. So stay on the lookout for that. As I said in my previous video, it will be. I will announce it. The um, I will announce it in a talking move on, not an ASMR. I'm gonna try out the hot sauce. I know this is not traditional, but I got my little spin on it. So yeah, I will be doing that soon, probably within the next couple weeks. Maybe next week. Mm. That is good. This is really good. And the, and, and the giveaway. Okay, yeah, so like I was saying, what was I saying? What was I saying? I don't even know. What was I saying? Come on, y'all, help me remember. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the giveaway. The giveaway will be a twenty-five dollar, twenty-five dollar cash app. So you must have cash app in order to win. Hmm. So if you don't have cash out, get it or or I can send you I can send you a gift card electronically. All right. You have Instagram, I could DM you the code or something. So I can do that. So if you win, I would ask you if you have cash app or not. And if not, I would send you a gift card. And I give you options to choose from. This is good. Next time, I will make these spicy because he's not spicy you know I like my stuff spicy even my regular tacos I like spicy with taco sauce and yep these are really good nice and flavorful the lime I don't really care for like that it's good, but I wouldn't choose it. Mm. Yeah. 
Damn, some messy tacos. Y'all yeah, heard about Tamar. That's really sad. She tried. Allegedly, she tried to. Um, so they said. I think it's allegedly. I don't know if it's confirmed if she tried to commit suicide or not. But my thoughts and prayers are with her. Yeah, I really like Tamar. I've been watching her on TV since first season of Braxton Family Values. It was a long time ago, probably about what I've been. I, I think I was maybe mm, I was maybe in the ninth grade, something like that. Not about I've been out of high school for since 2015, so I graduated in 2015. That's a long time. Maybe like 2010, 11 is when I first saw her. 2011 or 12, I mean. Mm, these are really good. I'm surprised they're not um, greasy. Y'all don't know why I was thinking that, you know, you dip in the grease. They would be greasy, but it's not. It's actually crunchy. It's like a soft crunch, though. I could have did ASMR with this, but I didn't think it was going to be crunchy. That's why I didn't do ASMR. I don't think I was going to get much sound from it, but I could have did one. This is really good. Also, I use somebody else's recipe. Her name is. Let me see. So don't think I came up with this by myself. I didn't. I added. I didn't add. I um. Well, I did. I I used the same season, but I add extra. And some of the seasons I didn't use. I didn't use no cloves. Let me look up her name. Her name, her YouTube channel name is simply Mama Cooks. So yeah, that's the recipe I use. I would try to link her channel or the video in the description. I'll try. If not, I'll just type her name because I don't really know how to do all that stuff yet. I really like this. This is really good. Yeah, I burnt my tongue too trying to taste taste test it earlier. Shirt is a mess. Mm. I have a question too for the people. Newer people, new small YouTube channels, or maybe not. But um, so I was looking at my my what is it called? This app called YouTube Tracker, and it was I was on my watch hours. I was looking at my watch hours, and basically, um, what's today? Excuse me. So basically, two days ago they took away 19 hours, but then. 
but then the next day they added them back so has that been happening to any of y'all and also they took away some of my subscribers then they end up adding them back so i don't know what's going on but that happened to me and um y'all i'm really close to 4,000 watch hours right now i'm at 38 38 37 or 38 38 38 maybe something like that but so hopefully i will reach that hopefully i will reach um 4 000 hours in the next eight eight nine days hopefully so i can finally get monetized or um try to, to get monetized hopefully i don't have nothing on my channel that's that would stop that. I'm not wasting these lines. It's good. The lime is good. I just the lime is good. I, mean, I just don't really too much care for it on the beef. Ooh, that'd be maybe chicken, chicken burrito. Maybe I do that next. That's, It'd be probably it'd probably be better on there. That's really good. Have a little bit of water. So yeah, I really want to uh, make sure you look out. Make sure you be on the lookout for the the one thousand, not one thousand dollar giveaway, ooh, the one K giveaway that I, that will be coming up soon, probably within the next week or two. Yes, yeah, so that'll be coming up soon. And I want to thank you guys for watching, subscribing. Make sure you guys like, comment, and share. And I see you guys in another video. Peace.